All right. So the next thing we're going to talk about in our cover three families, how we handle three by ones. We have three possible three by one checks. The first one we talk about is skate. Okay. All of our three by one checks are flood coverages. They're flood coverages. So take what we learned in fist and match and use the co flood coverage principle and you're playing something similar to skate. You are basically playing skate. All right, so we're gonna go through skate. So the corners alignment in skate, he needs to end up seven by divider leverage on the number one. Seven yards off divider leverage. You can start him and press and have him bail to that leverage. You can start him at seven by one, okay? Uh, but he needs to be seven by one divider leverage, inside or outside, by the snap or right before the snap of the football, okay? He's going to use his midpoint technique. He's going to use midpoint. Again, we're playing flood coverage. The strong safety is going to be five by one outside the number two. If the top or with the divider, I'm sorry, with divider leverage out on number two. If the two is really really wide, he play inside leverage. Okay, if the two gets really, really tight, so let's say we got a, a tight end wing set, he'll go to five by three. He'll go to five by three. So if we got that guy, that number two is like a wing, we'll play five by three. All right, otherwise we'll play five by one. He's going to push to the flat, and he's going to relate to one in the flat. He has to take the final number one through the flat. The mic is going to hip the tackle, a hip alignment on the tackle. That means he's gonna be on the hip of the tackle and he'll be angled at a 45 degree angle. So that part of his body is open towards the number three. He's gonna push through the curl and he's gonna relate to two. Okay. Our, our Mike, our Will linebacker Okay, our well linebacker will start over the center, okay, versus three guys, three receivers open. So when there are three receivers, he'll start over the center. He'll push the three, and he'll take three up and back. Okay. He will robot the shallow on what we call strong flow and he will have to take three through on weak throw flow. Take three through on weak flow. The weak safety will try to start at 10 yards, 10 by 3, okay, off the tackle. Um, if they're um, not as good, you can try to push them down to eight, and if they're not as good, you can push them down to five. But you want to try to start ten by three, okay? And he's too weak to first crossing. Okay, too weak to first crossing. The corner is going to play divider leverage one by one. He could be a press. You can press Balaam. You can play him off. And he's going to be in Meg, which is man everywhere he goes. He's in man to man. He's in man to man. So if you notice, I'm sorry, in the last one, the free safety will start 10 by outside leverage of the number three. That's how we handle three receivers. And he will be the middle of the field defender. The middle of the field defender. Okay. If you notice, if you notice, this is exactly how we handle flood style routes. So when we get strong flow and fist, and when we get the swing deeper three or the fast three and match. It's the same coverage. All we're doing now is saying in three by one, we play flood coverage and we call this coverage skate. In three by one, we play flood coverage and we call this coverage skate. The reason we give it skate a name and we don't just call it flood coverage is because we're rotating to the weak side. Okay? We're rotating the, to the weak side. We have another name when we run flood coverage to three by one and we rotate to the strong side. We call that Mabel, which is what we're going to talk about next. Now, a few nuances of skate. OK? 
Okay, and they're very similar to fist, and they're very similar to match. If I get weak flow, the person that I relate to, one, two, or three, I have to take him through to the opposite flat. Let me say this again. I have to take him through to the opposite flat if I get weak flow. The reason is, is that when we get weak flow, they're playing man to man. The weak safety in the, in the corner are playing man to man. So when they go from the cover three side to the man side, we have to take him through man to man. We're now playing man to man on this side of the field. Okay? So whoever you're relating to is who you're going to take through. So in this situation, if the two run through, the mic is relating to two, he's going to take them through. If the number one went through, the safety will take the number one through. So whoever you're relating to, okay, if he goes to the man's side, you have to now take him back, take him through man to man. Okay? If we get strong flow, if we get strong flow, so the back goes strong, I can pass him back and squeeze back towards the football. I can squeeze back towards the football. So if two goes on the under route, I can squeeze back towards the football, okay, until either someone shows the other way or get ready to play the check down. Okay? The number three player in this who has three up and back, if number three goes shallow, he can robot. He can robot if his guy goes shallow. Much like when we get strong flow in fist and we get a Y shallow. We robot the Y shallow with the three player. It's the same rule. It's like saying you have three up and back, robot Y shallow. It's the same thing. Okay? It's just he's the number three receiver. Could be a Y, could be a, a Z, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so on strong flow, we can either squeeze back or robot depending on who we are. Alright? Next I want to talk about the three up and back rule. Okay? Just like before, if three goes up and behind me, I'll take a man to man. I'll take a man to man. Because, again, he's going to the man side. If three doesn't go up and behind me, so he goes straight up the field, I'm going to build a fence. Okay? I'm going to build a fence on that number three. Trying to make this imaginary intersection point so that if he does go back across, I can intersect him. Okay? If he does go back across, I can intersect him. I want to be using a trail technique when I go to intersect this number three receiver. I do not want to be on top of him. If I try to get on top of the three, he's just going to bend behind me. He's just going to bend behind me. I want to make sure I'm in a trail position to intersect the number three. To intersect the number three as he goes back and behind. Okay? That's how we play skate to a regular three receiver set. Okay? with strong and weak flow. It's a type of weak side rotation flood coverage to three by one.